a Cambridge-based artificial intelligence company building an open access, open source, tokenized, decentralized machine learning network. So here to explain a little bit more about what Fetch AI is doing is Mayan Sheikh, the CEO. So great to have you back. Good to see you again. Thank you, Jane. It's <laughs> always a pleasure to be uh, speaking to you. And thank you for inviting me to talk about um, what we do. Right. Um, yeah. Well, very, very cool and interesting company. So why don't, for people that maybe missed the first interview, why don't you give us an overview of what Fetch AI is doing? Sure. Fetch, Fetch AI is building uh, solutions which normal people, um, small businesses, big businesses can deploy very easily. It's open source and it's a lot easier to deploy. You don't need uh, very specific uh, skill sets to do it. We are creating all the tools which you need for a decentralized AI so that you're not um, beholden to big uh, corporates. Uh, you can control your data, you can control your own machine learning, but you can work collectively with um, other parties and do complex machine learning and AI tasks a lot easier than what it is today. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember when we first talked, I thought how cool it was that this would be a good solution for maybe a small business um, that doesn't want to you know, hire a big AI firm or have their own AI department, and they get to control their data, which is something that people, I feel like, are getting more concerned about. Absolutely. And I think what needs to be understood is AI is not going to be a choice. AI is not going to be an option. AI is going to be mandatory. So you will need to do machine learning and AI tasks if you want um, to survive now. Tell me about the collective learning framework. What is that and how can businesses benefit from that? Right. As the name suggests, it's about uh, collectively learning uh, of um, different um, algorithms and machine uh, learning algorithms and AI. So the, the purpose of collective learning is to enable uh, businesses people, different entities, to actually learn from data, which is sitting in different places, and do a collective learning um, process whereby everybody benefits from everybody's data without actually sharing the data. So, for example, um, if you uh, look at what's been happening with COVID-19 and you wanted to analyze uh, X-rays of lungs, for example, and that's that's a, by the way a demonstration we've recently done. That you could learn from each other's data sets without sharing the data and improve uh, very quickly um, uh, the detection of um, COVID nineteen, for example, or any problem symptoms in the lungs. It's a very interesting space we're in. Uh, we uh, we have a whole world who needs to collaborate to do things and but we are quite siloed in terms of where the data sits. So this this unlocks all of that. So you don't need to move the data around. Right. You uh, make your algorithms learn from wherever the data is and then collaborate with everybody. Okay. Um, very interesting and could be a real problem solver. So what um, kind of real world applications um, is this technology being applied to right now? Uh, you, you could apply to many different things, but I think... Uh, it's it's um, it's quite interesting where the most impact is coming from. Uh, so if you look at healthcare, for example, uh, you have different hospitals. Uh, they don't. Uh, there is a there is a huge issue about the customers' privacy, um, clients' or patients' privacy. And you can, if you could actually remove that barrier, and you could actually um, have a system whereby all the hospitals can sign up to. Okay, and then finally, come on, just what's next? Like, what are your next steps for Fetch AI? We we uh, we we have quite a bit of an ambition. We want to uh, democratize and um, the AI, and we want to democratize all the tools which come for AI and should be able to use. So we are uh, launching different initiatives in different uh, sectors. Um, healthcare is one. Uh, you could similarly apply collective learning into, um, for example, banking, where you could detect fraud. Uh, you could uh, learn from uh, all the transactions and make sure that uh, every um, stakeholder can benefit from it. 
Uh, we're also looking into mobility where we're enabling people to deploy um, their own uh, mobility solutions rather than looking at uh, big conglomerates who can actually deliver the service. So we're making uh, creating and delivering service a lot easier for smaller businesses and individuals. Now, are you looking for potential collaborators on this? And if so, how would somebody get in touch with you about that? So we, we're always looking for collaborators because this is a decentralized project and it's a huge initiative and we want small businesses, we want individuals to get in touch with us to deploy their own solution. We will provide them all the toolkits, we'll provide them all the, uh, all the tools necessary to build solutions on the platform. Uh, we, we, have, we have all channels, we have Slack, developer Slack channel, we have commercial Slack channels, we have um, Telegram, we have presence in um, presence on on the on the website. You can contact us via email. Um, there, there's a, any way you feel like we we have all of that on our website, so you can easily get in touch. Okay. Well, thank you for the update, Hamayn. It's great to see you again. Always interesting. Um, it's been a pleasure. Yeah. Thank, you. thank you. And thank you as well for joining us. We'll be right back.